I'm going to give you a quick update on SpaceX satellite broadband internet and talk about some of my concerns about this business move. If you haven't heard, SpaceX is starting a satellite broadband internet business that is rumored to be called Starlink. According to a Business Wire report, the internet service provider industry has a combined annual revenue of $45 billion per year, and that data is from 2010. SpaceX hopes to get in on that action with their satellite broadband internet business and add another source of revenue to help achieve their ultimate goal of helping humanity become a multi-planetary species. Is SpaceX just kicking the tires on this idea, or are they all in? Let's find out. Welcome to Neoscribe, research in the future for you, so you don't have to. If you're new to my channel, I cover all major SpaceX news involving their Mars colonization plan, the BFR, and whatever else I find interesting. So if you're interested in SpaceX, you should hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Okay, so if you miss my full overview of the SpaceX internet business, you can click on the alert on the top of the screen so that you're up to date. All right, on October 14th, it was reported by GeekWire that SpaceX filed an application to the Federal Communications Commission to be able to test their satellite communication systems at their facility in Redmond, Washington. According to the application, they want to start testing the satellites starting this month. Based on the application filing, SpaceX seems to be moving full steam ahead with the satellite broadband business. SpaceX applied to test their satellite antennas, experimental rigs, and other components from October 24th through April 24th of 2018. SpaceX says all the tests will be performed once, and the purpose of the test is to test communication links, telemetry, tracking, and control systems. So with this piece of news, we can fill the gaps and form a rough timeline of what to expect moving forward. SpaceX will test their satellites and various components starting this month until April 2018. Then they will plan their prototype satellite as early as the end of this year or early 2018. Then they will launch their first wave of 4,425 satellites in 2019 and then eventually reach full capacity by 2024. So it looks like SpaceX is all in and fully committed to being an internet service provider. But the launching of internet satellites lies largely in the hands of regulators. Launching thousands of satellites in a low earth orbit must be worked out between the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, and the International Telecommunication Union, or ITU, which is an agency of the United Nations. Last month, the FCC tried to work out an agreement with the ITU, but they were unsuccessful. As a result, the FCC voted to delay SpaceX application to launch the satellites, not to be confused with the earlier mentioned application to test the satellites on the ground, which will happen later this month. But the international regulations are being worked out with the ITU, and it's just a matter of creating the rules on how the space spectrum will be shared between different entities. Because SpaceX is not the only company trying to launch satellite internet constellations. OneWeb and Boeing also want to launch their own constellations. So understandably, the international regulators need to make sure that everyone has fair access. SpaceX estimates that the project will cost around $10 billion to get started, which was the estimated cost to develop the interplanetary transport system. So why not just use this money for the BFR and, and the Mars missions? Another concern of mine is whether satellite broadband internet will be able to compete with fifth generation or 5G wireless networks. A recent Verizon test of their 5G network clocked speeds of 6.4 gigabits per second. That's around 120 times faster than the average home broadband speeds. While it'll take 5 to 10 years before 5G is everywhere, it may eventually make home broadband and satellite broadband for that matter obsolete. I made a video covering the overview of 5G mobile networks. Click on the notification at the top of the screen to check that out. So this is a huge risk for SpaceX and I hope everything works out. And if it does, it will be a huge boost for their Mars colonization goals. But I want to hear from you. Does anyone out there know a lot about the internet provider industry? If so, do you think satellite broadband internet can compete with 5G wireless networks in the future? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're interested in space exploration, robotics, and all things future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe, and this is the end of our journey.